Customizable pages are pages you design yourself. Now I'll show you how to do one. First thing you do is you click in the customizable page area and drag the page and put it on the on the plate where you want it to be. So I'm going to drag this page out of there, a new page. And I'm going to drop it on the screen, and it comes up looking like that. When you select at the very top, it says um, select layout. And when you click that, it gives you a bunch of different layouts that I've designed. And these are these are just boxes that you're going to put something in. So in this case, I've got a full left-hand column of the entire page. I could put fields in there, summary of fields. I could put available spaces. I could put a bullet list, paragraphs, whatever I want. And then on the right, I have two smaller boxes. So you just go through these until you find the one you want. And here I've got four boxes. I'm just going to start with that. Then you add what we call widgets. This is the list of widgets that you can add right now. You can add a map, a paragraph, bullet list, photo, text box, property fields. Those come directly from your properties, so you don't have to fill anything in. You just pick the fields you want, and it comes right from the database. Available spaces, same thing. It comes right from the database. Property description, that, that pulls the description from your database and overview and location overview. Those are all pulled. So I'm going to just design this page real quick so you can see how easy it is to do. Stick a photo there, put a map here. I'll add some paragraphs down here, and I'll add a bullet list on the right. Okay, now I you have to fill this in. What I'm going to show you now doesn't happen automatically. Duh. But just so you didn't think that this all of a sudden just appears, I, I just typed all that in so I wouldn't have to sit here while you're on the screen. But look at the look at what I can do. I've I've decided uh, using the menu. I've decided I want three paragraphs, so I can do as many paragraphs as I want, just by changing the number right here from three to two to five to whatever. I can change the font size. I can change the color. I can change the color of the text. Here I've changed the color of the title, but not the text, to blue. Here I've changed the background of the title to navy and the color white. I can make it uh, justified, left, right, center. I can remove the title if I don't want to have a title on it. And I can, of course, change the widget out to something else if I want to. Very powerful, very easy to use. And you really are designing your own page right now. For bullet lists, same thing. I can have as many bullet lists as I want. I can change the bullet type. Here I've done a numbered system. Here I'm doing lettered system. And here's the little circle thing. Change the font size, change the, all, all that stuff. It's the same thing as I just showed you. For the map, you can pick what type of a map it is. You can zoom in and out. You can even zoom all the way into 3D. So if you're trying to get a, actually a picture of a building um, and you don't have a photo, you can zoom in on this and it sort of gives you a pretty good idea of what the thing looks like uh, in 3D. You can also change out these widgets. Uh, so let's say that um, I don't want to use a photo here. Here it's showing you how you can resize a photo and move it around. But let's say I want to put a field list in here. I can just get rid of that widget and change it to a field list. Now this is not something that I did offline. This is, this is what happens. It pulls up your set of fields, but these are just a couple of the fields. You've got all the fields available. So you can switch these out, any fields you want to put in there, any order you want to put them in, and you can change the text in these fields and it doesn't mess up your database. You can also um, add links. So here on this photo, I'm going to make it a link and I'm going to tell it where to go. We support links on pictures and on uh, text widgets. If you try to get rid of a customizable page, uh, up there where it says Three Flags Plaza, I'm going to get rid of it. But notice it put it down here in the customizable page section. And if I want to bring it back, I can just drag it out of the bottom like that, drop it, and it's right back again. Where we're going with this, you'll not only be able to save a customizable page in a proposal like I just did there, but you'll be also be able to declare it as global. What that means is you can create customizable pages, make them global, and they'll be available in any proposal you, you create. Every proposal you open up will have a, a tile section called customizable pages, 
and it will start with all of the pages that you've designed yourself and you can drop them on any property and they'll come up with whatever widgets you put in them so in in this case if i if this was a global widget and i added a i went and got another property totally different property and i added this widget it would come up and the first square would be a photo the second one would be a map a paragraph and bullet list the map will be automatically right because it bases it off the address of the property. So that'll just fill in every time at the right zoom level for you. And the photo will come from whatever your first photo is in your library. You can change it, but it's just a great way for you to be able to design your own packages and not even have to use any of my pages if you don't want to.